happy Saturday Mindset Day. Three mental hacks that will change your state. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because we all go through our day. Sometimes we'll read something, we'll get a text message, we'll get a phone call, we'll get something that kind of deters us from our mood or our focus for the day. Um, most of the time in the morning when we wake up, we're in a reactive state. The first thing that we do is get our phone, look at our phone, see who called us, check some emails. And something so small can really kind of make our day turn out for, you know, now we start our day on the wrong foot just from one simple message. And now we have another eight to 10 to 12 hours to go through our day. Now we're in a bad mood. Or you may be in the middle of the day, everything may be going great. And then all of a sudden you get a message and you're like, oh. Your, your mood goes from here to here. So how can we change that? How can we control our mood? How can we control our state? Because we can't really control all the information that gets thrown at us on a day-to-day -day basis, but we can control how we respond and we can control how we react to it um, and change it. So there's three things that you can actually do. So not things that you can think, but three things that you can physically do that will make a difference. And one is smiling. I know, and I know that sounds silly and funny, but one, if you're making phone calls all day, if you're someone that sits in a desk, at a desk and you're making phone calls all day, if you're in a bad mood, that will definitely kind of port go, the people on the other side of the phone will know that you're not really that happy. So just smiling will put you in a better mood, even if you're not in a good mood. I used to do this when I was knocking doors. If I was, you know, getting doors slammed on my face or just getting a bunch of people answering doors that were just, I guess, not people I really wanted to deal with, you know, I would literally, and it sounds silly, but I would look down because I didn't want anybody to see me. I would look down and just put a big grin on my face. And the, the reason why I used to do that is because my demeanor would change. So even though I wanted to rip my hair out, once I started smiling, I would feel lighter. I would actually start feeling better. And smiling is super simple. Anyone can do it. So if you're feeling down, you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry, um, you're someone who has to talk to people um, with your job and you're just not feeling 100%, just smile more. Even if you have to, you know, fake it, this is where the fake it till you make it phrase comes in where you literally will fake it and you'll start noticing and feeling a difference. The second thing is moving. Make a move. You've probably heard this if you follow Tony Robbins. If you've ever even gone to a Tony Robbins event, you know, every, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, he makes you go up, jump up out of your seat because you're sitting there forever and you kind of change your state. You could do, you know, power moves. You can kind of move your arms upside down. You could jump two times, clap two times, whatever the case may be. You want to change your state. So if you're sitting all day and you're just like, oh, like frustrated, stressed out, got bad news, you notice that like it's like doom and gloom get up out of your chair and do two jumping jacks or do two air squats or, you know, throw your hand up, say, you know, throw your hand up in the air three times. It sounds silly. All this stuff sounds silly, but it works because now you're changing your whole physiology. And instead of you kind of sitting there acting like the world is going to come crashing down, as long as you, you could smile, change your, uh, move your body, you will start feeling better. The change of energy goes a long way. And then the third thing is just changing your posture. So body composition is huge. Body language. If you're sitting down and you're crouched over or your arms are crossed or your hands on your head and you're actually acting like you look mad. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything. People will look at you and be like, wow, you know, what's wrong? And you're like, I didn't even say anything. Why are they asking me what's wrong? your position, your posture is literally telling a story. So you, again, fake it till you make it. If you are sad and angry and frustrated and tired, whatever the case may be, change your posture, sit up straight, make sure you're not slouching, put your hands on, you know, in front of you, don't cross your arms, don't cross your legs. 
unless you're me because I sit in a pretzel 24 seven, um, whether I'm happy or sad. Uh, but you, and if you're walking, like, are you walking like, you know, slouched over? Are you moving really slow? Like if I was knocking doors and I was having, you know, a bad day and I was just like dragging, I would feel worse longer and longer. But if I smiled, maybe moved a little bit faster and kind of walked straight, you know, your, your body is now, you're kind of tricking your body into feeling better. Sorry, I got to fall. Into feeling better um, rather than feeling like, oh, my day is over. And, you know, we have to really be conscious about what we do when things come our way because we're, we live in a world where information is getting thrown on us no matter where we are, on our phone, on our TV, on our computer, even at work. Like anything could kind of set us off. And kind of make us go a little bit mad. But if you just smile, move your body, even if it's two jumping jacks or a jump upside, a jump up, a, a jump up and down, I can't talk, and you just change your posture, you will feel better. So those are three mental hacks to kind of get you out of a negative state into a more positive state. So before I go, I want to invite you to my seven day challenge. If you are someone who is looking to make a healthier lifestyle change, you're fed up with all the overwhelming information online, you feel like you have to flip your entire life upside down just to lose weight and you know fire up your metabolism and reduce bloat, my seven day challenge was designed to simplify your healthy lifestyle. So you go seven days, seven simple habits that will really allow you to use it as a stepping stone to start bringing your you know real 90 day or 120 day vision of your goals to reality. So I packed out the seven day challenge guide with a lot of info, recipes, workouts. I even added my free gut health ebook that helps you balance out your gut health and help you determine if you have gut health imbalances. And lastly, I also threw in my free supplement guide a common question that I get asked often is, Danae, what supplement should I be taking? And sometimes with all the marketing out there, we're buying things that we don't need. We're wasting money on products that don't work. So I put together a supplement guide that really helps you educate on why you're going to be taking things and why you should be taking things. So the link is below and above for you to join. All you have to do is fill out your email, uh, fill out your details. You'll be getting an email after with details. Um, and tomorrow I will be hopping on, talking to you a little bit about what the difference is when it comes to hiring a personal trainer and hiring a coach. Uh, what will give you long-term results? So tune in. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And for once I'm dressed up and we're going out. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.